In the first session, we installed Git and Visual Studio Code. In this session, very quick thing, we're going to basically take all the example files from the GitHub repository on the internet and load them, well, a copy of them, into our machine so we can then work on them uh, and uh, learn how to program. So I open up the browser. Here comes Edge. Here we go. And I basically uh, I navigate to, uh, there you go, that's the guy I want. Begin to go with JavaScript. This chap, uh, which is actually um, all the files that make up the repository on GitHub that I'm constantly updating, adding bits to. There's chapter code, there's all kinds of stuff in here. In amongst them, of course, is hello.html, which we saw uh, in chapter one when we played around with some JavaScript. Um, and so uh, I'll want that among other things. The best way to do it is to go into here and go clone or download and then hit copy. This will copy the URL at the top of this page into the clipboard for you. There you go. Uh, and now I can actually push the browser out of the way and start up Visual Studio Code. Here we go. Uh, v I S. So I do it. Boop. And this is now going to uh, uh, say, what do you want to do? And I really would like to clone a repository. And there is a button for this here. If you don't see that button, then click here. And there's a button there as well. There's buttons everywhere. But the one you want is clone. This will make a copy. Uh, we're going to download it and work on it. Uh, and uh, do our thing, but the copy is always the original is always out there. So if you make every, <laughs> some horrible mistakes, doesn't matter. Just go and clone it again. So it wants to know where does this thing live. So I'm going to go like that, uh, which is the repository. Control V to paste it in. Hit return, and the first thing it says is, okay, where do you want to put this? I'm going to put this in my documents folder. I'm going to make a folder called GitHub, G I T H U B. I'm going to go and put the repository in there. So there you go. Boop. And it will now go off and fetch all those files. I would love to open it. So I'll hit open. And now I've got my files in Visual Studio Code. So now I can actually open up um, whichever of the files I fancy. There's hello.htm, which is the one that we were playing with in Chapter 1. And I can make the changes. Um, to go with JavaScript hello I think I said hello from Rob I said here so I go hello from Rob uh, that's me that's my chain that's me I've made my mark okay so now what happens is if I go into uh, my documents using the browser here we go documents github begin to code there's my files there's my hello um, I probably better save this <laughs> otherwise nothing will happen so I can go into edit and I can go to file I can click save I use control s because that works too now I have a, a saved copy so if I now open this chap up using just double clicking on the file within the browser boom boom then up comes hello from Rob so I have changed the file this is my copy of course if I press F12 I can take a look inside at the JavaScript which is down here in the script tab there you go that's the one we were playing with in the uh, um, chapter uh, but yeah, I've customized this and what we'll be doing over the next uh, few uh, chapters is taking hold of the JavaScript source file inside the HTML, finding out more about what these magical words mean uh, and changing them to make them do fun things. So that's it. All in four minutes. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you.